one of the best things about being part of the BrewTube uh, community, putting these videos out, watching other people's videos, getting involved in the Facebook forum, is definitely, definitely, without doubt, getting beer mail. You send out some beers, you get some beers back. It's a fantastic system, free beer that you didn't have to brew. Um, in my case, inevitably it's going to be better than the beer that I brew. And this week, I got a beer care package that I wasn't expecting from one of the brewers that I watched right at the very start of my uh, brewing journey, adventure, whatever way you want to call it. Right at the start, there's a couple of people, everybody watches Create Tube right at the start, the Canadian guy, a bit eccentric, decent, decent enough fella uh, from his videos anyhow. Uh, getting sort of more local in, uh, straight in, I think I've mentioned this before, one of my first videos uh, was when the old BrewTube uh, official Facebook forum collapsed, and I don't want to get into that, it wasn't there, I don't know anything about it, uh, but it was Big Banana, and then moved on, various other ones, but one of the ones that I really enjoyed watching over and over again was Dude's Brews, and the dude has abided, the dude abides, he sends me three beers, and here they are. Okay, so first up we're going to do, ooh, nearly fold, nearly fold it, Nearly folded, it, nearly dropped it. Uh, Falconer's APA, 5.5%, 45 IBU. Falconer's Flight, Citra, Chinook, and has been used, uh, has used the Vermont yeast. So, here we go. Slight bit of a hiss, some bubbles forming. Yeah, we're good. And a wee bit of Gum smoke, you can see. Here's my trusty like, yeah, glass. Pouring quite vigorously. I'm not sure if this is bottle conditioned or off a keg. Uh, so we'll just fill it. Ooh, it looks nice. So what have we got? We have a hazy, murky, hazy. Uh, we, have a, we have a very busy desk, that's what we've got for a start. Um, so what have we got? Uh, a nice sort of coppery colour. I um, don't really know how to describe that. Kind of orangey. Um, quite a bit of carbonation coming up through the glass that I can see. You'll not see it. Um, you want to go right close. I have a tool for this job. Here we go. So you can see how sort of murky it is. You can also see the nice colour. Um, I know nothing about Falconer's Flight at all. I've never even heard of it until I got this uh, this bottle through the post. Um, so I'm quite interested. I'm getting a wee hint of pineapple. Nice sort of Yeah, pineapple's the overriding thing, definitely. But it's a nice, fresh, kind of, uh, well, there's citra in it, so citrusy kind of thing going on as well. Let's go in. Right. So that doesn't taste quite like it smells. Um, whoa! <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. I'm 
I'm having difficulty um, identifying the, the front flavour there. It's definitely coming from the hops and presumably given what else is there, it's the Falconer's Flight. Um, it's not pineapple. Almost like a like a like a melon of some description. Mm, not sure. Not sure about that at all. I'm sorry, what I mean by I'm not sure. I'm sure of the beer. It's two thumbs up on the Jackson scale. Um Despite what it looks, you know, and you've very little in the way of head retention, very little lacing, um, but what you do have is fantastic level of carbonation there. Uh, I have a nice bitterness that I always like off the tail end of a beer. Five and a half percent, yeah. I'm not making it too quickly, but that front fruity flavour, bitterness, sort of, I want to say bitter melon, so we know about bitter lemon, but we don't know about bitter melon. Um, so I want to say that, but I doubt that's even a real thing. Um, and I think it's the bitterness from the IBUs coming off the end, uh, is what's directing me in that direction uh, game with like a lot of triple ales and what have you um, you get that sort of mouthfeel uh, so like activates your saliva and stuff like that, so you get a full mouth feel. Uh, it's not necessarily full body, but it's quite light bodied. Uh, and then the Vermont yeast, um, which is why it's so cloudy, that Vermont. Oh no, wait, I'm thinking of Verdant. Hmm. Perhaps it's just a cloudy beer. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really enjoyable. Um, Another beer that has been sent to me that I wish you maybe had to send me six of the same. Uh, <laughs> because having to sit and sort of think about everything. Yeah, you get, you get that bitterness, right? Sort of from about midway point and then as you swallow. But... It's that, that front end flavour which is clearly coming from the Falconer's Flight. Um, I'm, I'm nearly tempted to look it up. In fact, I'm going to look it up. Each, so it's a it's a blend of hops. Ah, why that's clever. So they've got some hops. And then the pellet making process, they get all the hops together and make it into one pellet, but it's lots of different hops together. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. Uh, so anyway, each hop has been selected for its superior aromatic qualities, imparting distinct tropical, f tropical, pineapples, tropical. Citrus, floral, lemon, bitter melon, lemon, and grape, grapefruit. That's what it was. And grapefruit tones. This allows you to get a complexity, blah, blah, blah. Grapefruit, that's what it is off the front. Big, 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 big grapefruit. And I can't believe I missed that. Incredible. First beer that uh, the dude has sent me.
I don't know if it was the first one, but certainly the first one I've opened. Uh, and it's, as I said already, on the Jackson scale, two thumbs up. I'm probably going to need a more accurate uh, review scale. <laughs> two thumbs up. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Falconer's APA, American Pale Ale. Uh, whatever you've done with this has worked for my taste anyway. So had to follow that, had to follow it up. Uh, so we're going with Cheeseburger Deluxe, 6.6%, 6 etc. Uh, and 49 EBU, IBUs, 49 IBUs. Uh, as I said before, Lager, Ars Otter, Oats, Honey Malt, Citra Mosaic, Equinot, Columbus, and a yeast that has been described as juice. Uh, Equinot is a hop that I've had commercially and commercial beers uh, a good few times and I always think I like that and I always think I should do one myself with Equinot in it and then every time I can settle on a recipe sparkly things and something flies past and, ooh, and I never I never end up doing it but anyway enough about me cheeseburger deluxe no hint as to what sort of a beer it is lager marsauder juice Probably some sort of a paleo, I would imagine. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> yep. A little bit of bubbles at the top. My trusty IKEA glass. Ooh. Now we're getting to the reason. Now in the camera that looks kind of similar, but I can assure you that is way paler than the APA. I would describe that as a nice pale straw colour. Yeah, it's starting to condensation up the glass, but yeah, nice sort of pale colour. Very, I'll use my trusty. Sort of see how sort of murky and yummy it looks. Yeah, stop flashing. Again, getting sort of green, green fruit, uh, sort of like maybe like a gooseberry, some citra. A lot of citra, some more citra. But yeah, real, real good citrus flavours coming off this. Let's pop it up. I think these are bottle condensed. Oh, no, maybe not. There's no sort of extra murk coming off the bottom of these bottles, so. Incredible. I'm not sure why it's cheeseburger deluxe. I'm going in. What is that? So Whoa, whoa, right. So why the, so I obviously take quite a big mouthful uh, for my first mouthful when I'm doing these beer reviews. And while I'm doing that, I'm thinking about, it's that flavor, it's that flavor, it's that flavor. It makes me feel like this, let's talk about that. Swallow, bitterness, no, mouthfeel, okay, blah, 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 blah. So I had all that in my head and then I swallowed and what on earth came after that? That's incredible. A 
was going to do a Michael, uh, Samuel L. Jackson impressionation there. That is a tasty burger. <laughs> that is a tasty burger. Where do you even start at? That's a sipping beer. I don't even know where to start. So my initial sort of thought about it is, you know, I said even in the, when I was reading the bottle, some sort of a pale ale kind of hybrid kind of thing going on there. It must be the honey malt that's given it this extra dimension. Um, whew, there we go. Quite thin bodied, quite, um, when you go into it thinking it's a pale ale, whether it's an IPA or an APA or New England IPA, whatever, excuse me, it's quite thin and it's quite, I don't want to say lacking because it's not lacking anything, but it just doesn't hit the boxes that you would expect for something like that. And in terms of comparing it back to Falconer's, Completely different beast. Um, Forty nine IBU, so it's quite quite a bit down. It ticks some boxes. You know, you've got some citra there, some citrus fruits. But it's that aftertaste. It's that secondary flavour that comes through. I'm looking at the what I what I know about this. And I can only assume it's the honey malt. Do you know what they call a quarter pounder of cheese in uh, Amsterdam? The Royale with cheese. <laughs> No, I didn't think this was. I thought maybe. I thought this was maybe a. Um, a clone beer of a commercial beer that's called Cheeseburger Docks, but it's not. I don't know where this has come from. I like it, and I don't really know why I like it. it that aftertaste has, has me spinning. Oh. Uh, Focus, professional. So you can see a bit more lacing on the glass compared to the last time. Still quite thin on head retention. Good level of carbonation. Now there is a cap there. Um, if I can sort of spill spilling it. So the cap is there. When you move the glass about, you can see a lot of bubbles moving. Another fantastic beer, dude. Well done. Two thumbs up. So that's four thumbs up. Yeah. Um, incredible beer. I, I just don't know what it is. I'm going to go back to some sort of a paleo, but... I'll, mm, it's that, that aftertaste. That's incredible. Two thumbs up, man. That, that, that's an, another incredible beer. 